Because uh, you think a lot of parents, would, you know, encourage their, their children's kind of high aspirations. Yes. But, like, you told your mom... You when I was a kid, before I wanted to be a comedian, my dream was to be the president of the United States. <laughs> it's the only <laughs> real job I ever wanted. Okay? <laughs> Only time I wanted an office. I wanted to be the president of the United States. And I told my mother, and she's like, you better not, you'll get shot. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> from, from then on, I never tried to be good in school at all. <laughs> I can't be president, but what, what's the point? <laughs> Evidently, Obama's mother did not say that. <laughs> She had a different message. <laughs> <laughs> and as a comic, obviously, like, George Bush is like a gift to yes, comedians worldwide. So what's it like now? <laughs> George, oh, look at he's it. the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it and like now? you know now? he's got something to do with this oil spill, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know he's not the president, but he's... Watch, when we really get under all of this, <laughs> we're gonna find JB initials on a cufflink down there. <laughs> He was the one working the rig the night all the red lights were going out. I don't understand, man. <laughs> Can you do jokes about Obama? It's weird, because he's just so damn cool. It's not, it's not people go, oh, he can't tell jokes because he's black. No, 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 no. He's just too cool. It's like doing jokes about Brad Pitt. What can you say about Brad Pitt? <laughs> ah, yeah. Ha, ha, your wife is hot. <laughs> <laughs> the weird things about aging that I didn't realize. Well, it's very hard if you were attractive. You know what I'm saying? You guys don't have to worry. But <laughs> you... <laughs> you are going to have to worry. I, I, have, I have friends, and I'm not going to name names, Goldie Hawn. <laughs> I have friends <laughs> that can't take getting older, you know? And she'll say, would you believe I have a grown-up daughter? And you're going to go, yes! <laughs> no question. <laughs> It's very hard for a woman to get older. Yeah. And older men... <gasps> because I always faked orgasm, and now these old guys... <laughs> you know, if you moan and groan in the wrong ear, they don't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a waste! <laughs> so, so, it's hard getting older. <laughs> Melissa, my daughter, are you single? Yeah. We'll talk. My, she, she just broke up with the porn king of America. I, <gasps> he owns Vivid. Oh, you know. No. And, and <laughs> we, went, we went to the porn awards. The red, they have a red carpet. I'm not lying to you. On the porn awards, a red, it's shaved, but it's a red <laughs> carpet. <laughs> it's a sofa full of hosts. Because, sort of, yes. uh, <laughs> Mr. Crystal, was it nine times you've hosted the Oscars? I've been accused of that, yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes. I've, I've read where, as you travel the world, kind of, that's what you recognize even more than the movies you've been in. A lot of times, yeah, they'll call me Oscar. They actually will call me <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> and I have to stand like this. Because, <laughs> Hugh, you've done it once. Once, yeah. But can you enjoy it, or is the whole evening just spent, oh, my God? Yeah, you know, the worst thing about it, I don't know if you found this, when I went for my first production meeting, uh, they said, great, Hugh, we're very excited, and they, they gave me a one-sheet page to talk about the show. It had segment one, Hugh Jackman, opening, seven slash eight minutes, question mark, commercial break one. Segment two, I'm like, OK, can we just stop there for a second? <laughs> what do I do in the seven, eight minutes? Eh, don't worry, it's up to you. Mm. And I was like, OK, I'm not... <laughs> you know I'm not Billy Crystal, right? That's what I... Do. <laughs> and uh, when I'd sort of sorted out the first seven, eight minutes, then I kind of enjoyed it. And, and it's, it's, it's daunting when you walk yeah. out and you see... This is a great audience, but imagine that it's all gigantic movie stars yeah. with big heads. Right. <laughs> because they all have big heads. They have Meryl Streep, gigantic head. <laughs> Jack Nicholson, all head. They, they all, everyone's got huge heads. They do. But I have to say, you are on the couch with kind of Nerd Central. Um, <laughs> What? Well, no, no I'm Whoa. not going to... No. Well, yeah. uh, Tina, you've talked about... But you, yeah. you do a lot of material about growing up a nerd, but you really were a nerd. Yeah. No, uh, I really was, yeah. We've got photographic evidence. There you go. This will prove it. <laughs> Whoa! How <laughs> did... I would say that that haircut was done by folding my face in half. <laughs> 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 the worst haircut of all time. Uh,
<laughs> the guy from Spinal Tap. Who did it? Did, did My it... mom used to take me to a haircutting school because you could get like a, like a literally a two dollar haircut. And yeah, that. You were the guinea pig. And the sign outside the school said London, Paris, Upper Derby. <laughs> You've talked, you've talked about your late blossoming, your sort of sexual awakening. Was Thank you for bringing that up. I was <laughs> wanting to make sure everyone knew. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, yeah, I was a late starter. Uh, and, yeah, for sure, I, I don't... I probably didn't see a penis until I was at least 20, and that was probably a medical journal. So to see, like, a, like a, a healthy penis well, well into my late 20s. <laughs> no, it's, it's not... <laughs> modeled. It's fine. <laughs> Oh. Oh, 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 it's still horrible looking. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but you, you, this is so weird to be talking to someone. Yeah. You did, but you did, you did oh my body. Look at my body language. You did develop physically quite early. Again, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think because you must have read this in Bossy Pants. Yeah, yeah. I did. I was, you know, wearing, <laughs> bless my heart, I that haircut and like a bra. I remember taking my mom taking me to JCPenney and, and trying a bra on over my clothes in the middle of JCPenney. <laughs> and just being like, no, no, mommy, no. <laughs> like, no grabbing, no. And it's like, there's no, there's no turning back. Yeah, so I was probably like 10. Well, at the, at the, literally at the same time, like 1980, the same time that Kurt was scaring men in the streets of St. Louis, <laughs> I was like, now smash cut to a J.C. Penney in Philadelphia. <laughs> no, mommy. <no." laughs> Talking about um, Aladdin and, and the genie, you must be like animators must just love. Because even in that film, what did you do? Fifty-six voices as Aladdin's yeah, genie. Yeah, it was fun to do voices that you'd never hear in a cartoon, like Jack Nicholson. The idea of him being in a cartoon is like maybe a little wrong for the kiddies. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was fun because the first day we did it, they just uh, I said, "Do you mind if I try something?" And they went, "Oh, fine." And then by the end, they had twenty-three hours of material to choose from, but. And even the, the great thing about it was to even make fun of Disney's own marketing stuff, like the idea of them selling everything. And that was the first time they even made fun of themselves, which was kind of great. And did you feel like Disney were interfering, or they just let you go? Oh, I think they let me go because after a while they realized, this certainly works well. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe! <laughs> and, it was, uh, and then after that, it was like this kind of tradition of hiring comedians to be in, in cartoons, which is great, because they come and they riff like crazy. And, the great thing is when I see you give them a voice and then they draw it and then the animators go from what you gave them and go even further, which is wonderful. And can you look at a cartoon and come up with a voice? Well, like with Happy Feet, I, I got to be, like, I played two different characters. Initially three, but then the, the, they were worried that the one voice sounded too familiar. But when I got to play an Argentinian penguin, <laughs> I used to play the little machismo penguin, you know, the, the guys, the Argentinian guys were going, what do you, do you know you want it? <laughs> What are you looking at? You know you want it. Look at it. Don't be afraid of the flippers. I love you. <laughs> I brought you some pebbles. There's some bling, baby. You want some bling? You know you do. <laughs> yes, you're hot, and you know I got a beak that'll make you feel so good. <laughs> and then you had, like, all the crazier ones, you know? Now, I told you the penguins, because we like penguins, everyone likes penguins. Uh, there was a story this week, did you see it, about uh, a penguin in a wildlife centre in Torquay, right? This is a little penguin, right? It was rejected by its mother, right? Which is very sad. I, oh. Well done. Oh, look at you. <laughs> oh, don't cry. Uh, so it was rejected by its mother. So what do you do with a lonely little baby penguin? You buy it a friend. Now, I can't but help feel... <laughs> they could have spent longer in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> you you and the penguin's going, Thanks a lot! <laughs> That's my friend. He doesn't do anything. He's been dead for two years. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the amazing thing is it did work. It, really? It worked. The little baby penguin was doing really, really well till it choked to death and a big Google eye. Right. <laughs> um, they're quite loose. Do you remember the part when they actually, the Norwegian, uh, I think the Norwegian uh, ornithologist found out that, uh, about gay penguins? And they had two gay penguins who lived in the New York Zoo. And they were cohabitating for years, and they just, by the fact that they just kept bringing each other bling, like, I made this for you. Is <laughs> <laughs> really? Really gay penguins, yeah. They gave I great. I know that really gay penguins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not just gay penguins. Oh! <laughs> I'm swimming! <laughs> <laughs> Who's got fish? I got fish! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>